pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sense something dark stirring within the forest, Chandras. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. Put your backs into it! Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah, we shouldn't even be here! Or siding with the Orcs. We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So, these Orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these Outlanders as they deserve. Yourselves. They must have followed us from Lordaeron. Come see us. The dead advance in waves. We are no match for our force this fast. Quickly, my sisters, back to the trees. The undead are tireless. There's no way to outrun them. You see, Lord Archimond, we need not fear the Night Elves. The Scourge can... Archimond, after 10,000 years, how is it possible? <laughs> the Legion has returned to consume this world, woman. And this time, your troublesome race will not stop us. <laughs> Fools! You let her slip away! Find her, damn you! Find her and kill her! The day we have long feared has finally come. The Burning Legion has returned. I must cross the river and warn the rest of my sisters before all is lost. Taranda, praise Elun you've made it. The undead appeared out of nowhere and attacked our village without warning. Ishnudaldiem Chandris, we have a greater problem. The undead were sent here by the Burning Legion, our ancient enemies of old. Against such might, we have only one option. We must awaken the Druids. With Sonarius dead, it falls to us to awaken the Druids. We must recover the Demigod's horn from the sacred Moonglade Isle. Only its clarion call can awaken the Druids from their slumber. But Priestess, the Orcs have established a crude settlement upon the Isle. We'll need to fight our way through them to reach Cenarius's horn. Priestess Taronda, thank Elune we found you. The undead are advancing upon the nearby Barrow Dens. The dens seem abandoned, but... There is one druid sleeping within them, sister. He is the wisest and most powerful of all the druids. He must be warned that the Legion has returned. Then we'd better hurry. 
if the undead overtake his den before he's awakened. Let us make haste, my sisters. At last, the Horn of Cenarius. The horn has sounded, and I have come, as promised. I smell the stench of decay and corruption in our land. That angers me greatly. Come forth, you defenders of old. Crush these invaders, as you did in ages past. It has been a thousand years since I last looked upon you, Tyrande. I thought of you every moment I roamed through the Emerald Dream. My heart rejoices to see you again, my love. But I would not have awakened you unless the need was urgent. In the dream, I felt our land being corrupted, just as if it were my own body. You were right to awaken me. The Burning Legion has returned. Cenarius is dead, and outlanders roam freely through our most sacred veils. As was foretold. No doubt Archimond will make his way to Hyjal Summit and attack the World Tree. If he succeeds in draining the tree's energies, this world will be doomed. My only thought was to awaken you and the rest of the druids. The druids of the Talon reside within the Barrow Dens at the end of this valley. If we can reach them, we may have a chance to stop Archimond and his demons. That did it, boys! We've driven them off! Let's regroup back at the base and tend to our wounded. So, the Outlanders battle against the undead as well. They could prove to be powerful allies against Archimond and his ilk. They are mongrels and nothing more. They are responsible for Cenarius' death. I will be damned before I stand with them. Perhaps you are right, my love. We will establish our new settlement here. Keep your sentries alert. I doubt that we have seen the last of the Outlanders or the undead. Wait. I know those Furbolgs. They escaped from Ashenvale when the corruption started to spread. Perhaps. They did not escape the corruption after all. No! The outpost has been corrupted, and the Treans have been driven mad. They do not deserve this cruel fate. Come no further, weakling. Lord Tychondrius commanded us to kill anyone attempting to enter this place. And we shall... Pathetic wretches. It pains me that you once called yourselves Night Elves. Our building is... Come forth, Druids of the Talon. Let the Storm Crows fly once again upon the winds of war. Ishnuala, my brethren. Kalimdor has need of your powers once again, for the hour of doom is at hand. We are yours to command, Shundo Stormrage. Now we must delve into the earth and rouse the ferocious druids of the Claw from their slumber. These Barrow Deeps have remained untouched for nearly 3,000 years. Still, there is no telling what creatures may have taken up residence after we sealed these tunnels shut. There is nothing to fear in this place. The only enemy that has ever given me pause is now corrupting the lands above us. Let us be done with this business and get back to the surface. 
Agreed. Just be careful. There is no telling how the Druids of the Claw will react to us after all this time. Old Priestess, we need your help. Our shaman was bitten by a strange spider and has become deathly ill. Our tribesmen have run off, leaving us to fend for ourselves. What would you have us do? The waters of the nearby Fountain of Life can save him, but we dare not leave him in this state. If you can fill this vial with its waters and return it to us, our shaman's life will be saved. If his wisdom will prevent you from turning feral like your tribesmen, I will gladly save your shaman. Elune be praised, Priestess. Truthfully, we doubted that you'd return. Now our shaman has a chance. Again, I must thank you for your help. Take this talisman. Should you require our aid, it will summon us to fight at your side. The pathway cuts off to the south. But this doorway looks promising. Oh no. How could I have forgotten? What is behind this door that worries you, my love? This door leads to Illidan's prison, Tyrande. We should go. Now. Illidan? It's been 10,000 years. Could he still be alive? We should free him. He would be the perfect ally against the undead and their demon masters. No, Tyrande. That beast must never be set free. But he is your brother. Be that as it may. He is far too dangerous. I forbid it. Only the goddess may forbid me anything. I will free Illidan whether you like it or not. Ah, the druids of the Claw are awake already. Come, my brothers. We have much to do. What in the... They have lost themselves to their animal aspects. They are mindless and feral. In the raven's name. The horn's call might work, but it would reach only a few of them in this part of the cavern. Shandor Stormrage. I don't know what came over us. It's been so long since we remembered who we were. All is well, Theroshan. I have need of you and your mighty brethren once again. After these many ages, the Burning Legion has returned, and only our combined strength can drive them back. Then we Druids of the Claw are yours to command, Shandor Stormbridge. I cannot go back. Your quest is foolhardy. Even your goddess has condemned the one you seek to free. Illidan, is that you? Tyrande, it is your voice. After all these ages spent in darkness, your voice is like the pure light of the moon upon my mind. The Legion has returned, Illidan. Your people have need of you once more. Because I was cared for you, Tyrande, I will hunt down the demons. But I will never owe our people anything. Then let us hurry back to the surface. The demons' corruption spreads with every second we waste. It has been an eternity, brother. An eternity spent in darkness. Illidan. You were sentenced to pay for your sins. Nothing more. And who are you to judge me? We fought the demons side by side, if you recall. 
Enough of this, both of you. What is done is done. My love, with Illidan's help, we will drive the demons back once again and save what is left of our beloved land. Have you even considered the cost, Tyrande? This betrayer's aid may doom us all before the end. I will have nothing to do with this. I am free after 10,000 years. Yet still my own brother thinks I am a villain. I'll show him my true power. I'll show him that the demons have no hold over me. Are you certain of that, Demon Hunter? Are you certain your will is your own? You reek of death, human. You'll regret approaching me. Come then. You'll find that we're evenly matched. <laughs> Go on fighting like this forever. What is it you truly want? The Dreadlord who commands this undead army is called Tychondrius. He controls a powerful warlock artifact called the Skull of Gul'dan. It is responsible for corrupting these forests. And you wish for me to steal it? Why? Let's just say that I have no love for Tychondrius and the lord I serve would benefit from the Legion's downfall. Why should I believe anything you say, little human? My master sees all, Demon Hunter. He knows that you've sought power your whole life. Now it lies within your grasp. Seize it, and your enemies will be undone. the demons will no longer corrupt the forests. But if I destroy the skull and claim its powers as my own, I will become stronger than any of Archimonde's lieutenants. Yes, the power should be mine. <laughs> now I am complete. Foul demon! What have you done with my brother? It is I. This is what I've become. No. Illidan, how could you? The leader of the undead has been destroyed, and the forests will heal in time. At the cost of your soul? You are no brother of mine. Be gone from this place and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. We have no time for this. What are we doing out here? Last night in a dream, a great raven spoke to me and summoned me to this place. We were summoned here as well. Who are you, Outlanders? I am Thrall, son of Durotan, war chief of the Horde. And I am Jaina Proudmoore, leader of the human survivors of Lordaeron. You are not welcome here. Peace, Priestess. They've come to aid you against the Legion. It was you in my dream. But who are you to make such an offer to us? I am the reason for the Legion's return. Years ago, I brought the Orcs into this world. And by doing so, I opened a path for the demons as well. For my sins, I was murdered by those who I cared for most. Despite my death, 
War raged across the lands of the East for many long years, leaving entire kingdoms devastated in its wake. Now, at long last, I have returned to set things right. I am the Deev, the last guardian. I tell you now, the only chance for this world is for you to unite in arms against the enemies of all who live. Sorry I'm late. It, it's just as we feared. Archimond and his Doom Guard are making their way towards the summit. He'll be here any moment. Ten thousand years ago, we Night Elves defeated the Burning Legion. Though the rest of the world was shattered, we were left free to live out our immortal lives in peace, bound to the World Tree. We are its protectors, and through it we were granted immortality and power over nature. Now, at last, it is time we gave that power back. You realize that we will age as these mortals do. Our powers over nature will wane in time. If pride gives us pause, my love, then perhaps we have lived long enough already. I will proceed to the summit and prepare our defenses there. Whatever comes, my love, remember, our bond is eternal. our bases with support and keep us from being overwhelmed, Thrall and I will delay Archimon's ascent. Your plan is a bold one, girl. Perhaps I have misjudged you, Outlanders. May a loom shine upon you. You are very brave to stand against me, little human. If only your countrymen had been as bold, I would have had more fun scouring your wretched nations from the world. Is talking all you demons do? Stormage, show yourself! Or do you intend to have mortal girls do all your fighting for you? Orcs are weak and hardly worth the effort. I wonder why Manoroth even bothered with you. Our spirit is stronger than you know, demon. If we are to fall, then so be it. At least now, we are free. Your puncturing hurt me. to stand against the Legion. This is almost too easy. If I had known that this mortal resistance would be so weak, I would have launched this invasion centuries ago. Archimon's victory here has made him overconfident. He will not see the trap that I laid for him until it is too late. as long as they could. Were you successful in planning the summit's defense? Yes. Now our victory is assured.
The roots will heal in time, as will the entire world. The sacrifices have been made. Just as the orcs, humans, and night elves discarded their old hatreds and stood united against a common foe, so did nature herself rise up to banish the shadow forever. As for me, I came back to ensure that there would be a future, to teach the world that it no longer needed guardians. The hope for future generations has always resided in mortal hands. And now that my task is done, I will take my place amongst the legends of the past.